Everything Triple H said up here is true. Except that. I'm the greatest of all time, kid. Now, I'd be lying to you if I told you I knew all about Logan Paul. Um, I've been given the, the statistics, the facts that I need to know from my wise man here. There's no doubt that this guy's done a, a hell of a job, but it's very simple. He's had two matches. I've been the champ for over two years. When he first came to the, to the WWE, I thought it was a great idea. I thought it was a great opportunity for both sides. This man has over 30 million followers and what he's doing right now is he's bringing them all to his tribal chief. Because before this happened, he was in a good place with the bloodline as well because we're gonna allow him to do what he's been doing. Logan, you could be on any show that I main event for the rest of my career. I appreciate you and the following that you bring. You can be the third match on any card, any single day. You understand me? But the fact that he wants to step up to the main event, ladies and gentlemen, let me teach you a little lesson here. You need to crawl before you walk, walk before you run. And once you've figured out how to run, then maybe one day you'll be able to fly with the tribal chief. So we're gonna do your little boxing thing, this, this Logan Paul thing, this spectacle. We're gonna have fun with you for a few weeks, but when we get to Saudi Arabia, we're gonna smash you. And then after that, it's on you to figure out how to rebuild this castle, how to put it all back together, because I'm not gonna go easy on you. I'm not gonna treat you like you're in your third match. You are in the deep end now. You're in the water with the biggest shark to ever live in the WWE. And that's, that's Saudi Arabia. I'm going to show you what God mode really looks like. <laughs>